hello everyone so today we are going to do uh, capture the packets on uh, using tcp dump tool with the packets which are traveling from the which are passing from the checkpoint firewall so those packets we are going to capture by using tool tcp dump and we are going to save that traffic in a file format as .pcap so that we can analyze the traffic uh, we can uh, troubleshoot the traffic by using wireshark so Varshak will provide more granular options so that we can troubleshoot a uh, little bit more easier option will be provided it will provide graphical user interface so we have to uh, export uh, we have to export the captured traffic in dot pcap uh, file and we have to open that file from Varshak so that we can analyze that I'm already taken access of my checkpoint firewall as an admin using putting okay and uh, and I'm already in expert mode one more thing because I'm I'm already in expert mode uh, I taken access of expert mode because TCP dump tool works only in expert mode if you are not in expert mode then it will TCP dump tool will be not going to work so I'm writing already Return command as uh, tcp dump hyphen i hyphen i represent the interface of a checkpoint firewall so i'm using eth0 interface to capture the packets and you can use it is my internal interface and you can use external also and you can use any also so flag hyphen i just uh, allow us to represent uh, to any uh, to write the uh, interface of a checkpoint firewall okay so now I specified the host as 192.168.30.100. So now we are going to capture the packet which are generated from this uh, machine and the packets which are coming to this machine will also be captured. So let me do capturing. As you can see, it has started capturing because the client machine, the which is having 30.100 IP address, it is already running. So let me refresh so that we can get more packets. Okay it's enough so to stop this capturing you have to use control c as you can see we captured 1336 packets and which, which are not in well manner so it is a little bit more difficult to analyze to troubleshoot the traffic so that's why we are going to use the commands sorry flags tcp dump here already told a uh, hyphen i used to uh enable the to allow uh, to enable the ets0 interface okay to specify host we, we are using intra hyphen i flag and host is i already specified and i am using flag double n double n will uh, uh, will enable the will block the name resolution it will not allow to uh, resolve ip addresses to name okay and a triple V will be a uh, flag will be used to get relevant data okay because we are getting lot of data here so it will enable the uh, the flag will help triple V flag will help us to get relevant data only. and capital I will print all packets and capital X will be used to data to get data in hexadecimal format and hyphen W will be used to save this data say this traffic in a file okay so we are saving this file in root folder in root directory under variable directory under lo uh, log files we are saving this file let me change it as capture 10 okay so we i am saving this file as capture 10 the name of file will be capture 10 when we uh, see the file name it will be captured the entire packet uh, entire data will be saved in the file called capture 10 and uh, the <coughs> extension is pcap because we want to analyze this uh, traffic in wireshark and one more thing the hyphen w will help to uh, get data in raw format so that we can analyze using wireshark so let me start capturing also from here also as you can see it is started capturing not it started capturing so let me generate some traffic from host machine so this is my host machine let me refresh and it will start capturing 
as you can see it started 105 packets so let me generate some other traffic as ping also okay i am pinging machine a dot a dot eight i am getting pack and getting packets also so let us uh, stop this uh, capturing uh, to stop this capture we have to use control c okay it is stop so the pack uh, captured packet the captured file uh, this file capture 10 dot pcap is in the uh, checkpoint firewall okay so we have to get copy of this checkpoint firewall from, sorry this um, file from checkpoint firewall to our host machine okay so for that i am going to use win scp okay so now i am going to get access of firewall checkpoint firewall uh, using username for han3 which is already created in uh, uh, web ui so okay this username already created in uh, uh, web user interface and i have given the um, access to this file the file is a uh, let me show one second so here i'm already created a user let me go down so here is a user i'm already created user and i'm given the role as admin role and privileges add admin like shell i have given the shell as bin bash okay i'm not given just uh, uh, etc clash you will not going to access uh, if you are the user is having shell access as a slash etc slash uh, clish shell it will not going to access the files of a checkpoint for all for that we have to give we have to give bin that uh, bin, sorry uh, slash bin slash ash so that the user can get access of files of the uh, checkpoint firewall it will provide more uh, higher level of uh, privileges and uh, we already created this user so now we're going to create a new more so the and i'm going to use farhan3 user for the uh, admin role and uh, the privileges i am given is uh, admin like shell bin bash shell okay so let me come back here so the user name sorry we have to give ip address here okay as i showed you the user name is farhan3 who is having access of who is having access of uh, bin bash shell so that we can get the file of checkpoint firewall so now I have to give a password. So, sorry. so now I am using uh, logged in as a, a user for Han3. Okay. Let me go to a root file. Okay. Let me go to uh, because we have saved the file. Let me show where we exactly saved. Because we save the, uh, we are saving this capture dot ten dot pcap sorry capture ten dot pcap file in the root directory under variable under log. Okay. So let me go here. So first I have to go to root and then as I mentioned variables directory and then log. So here we are going to find that packet file. So to copy this file from this machine from checkpoint, this is the checkpoint uh, firewall machine. Now I'm uh, copying this machine uh, file to the my host machine because it is having uh, Wireshark. We are, I'm installed the Wireshark in this file. Sorry, this machine. So I'm going to copy this uh, file here. So already it is copied. So let me to copy this file. We have to just uh, drag the file from uh, this machine to this machine okay let me show one more thing just we have to drag and drop there already there are okay let me copy this capture 6 also so to copy capture 6 file just we have to drag this file from this machine to and we have to drop here okay so let me go to wireshark okay let me open wireshark so that we can see the data to access the wireshark we have to We have to access Wireshark as administrator mode. 
otherwise it will not going to work okay so now i'm going to access as a administrator mode okay it is uh, working so let me open that file so that we can read the data let me open file so that is the this is the file which i have captured using tcp dump tool so now you can see this is the source ip because i have specified the host as 30.100 so it will capture only the packet which is having source ip address as 30.100 and destination ip address as 30.100 it will not going to capture anything else okay either source address should be there 30.100 or destination ip address should be there as 30.100 then only it going to capture okay so this is the packets what all we captured as you can see let me show one thing as you can see we cap we are uh, captured 242 five uh, packets and here also we can confirm that this is 242 okay so thank you guys